Didn't want to do it, Goo. <laughs> I re- didn't want to do what? Really didn't want to do it to start the show. But I think we may have to do it because I know you mentioned this to me in the green room. You're driving home and you're listening to Peter King. Yeah. We're, you're, you're thinking, all right, we're doing the show today. We're going to talk about the Niners and the Bears. Soldier Field. As Kyle said, who's who's going to be the number two running back? Yeah. But... Every day, seemingly bounces back to what's going on with Trey Lance and a new report and a from new a take big boy, yeah, and a new opinion of when he may or may not be the starting quarterback, and is we can't quit it because it keeps hitting us in the face, which I think is an example, no doubt, of what we've been talking about really for the last week plus, which is this stuff. As much as we want to run from it and talk about other things. It ain't going away, and how would you, Jay, I love you. You look great again. And I'm <laughs> with you. I, like the Twitchers, the YouTubers yesterday, some were fatigued of this topic. And to be honest with you, my friend, I am. But I'm also captivated because JD is so enormous. It, 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 it's, there's nothing fake about the possibilities. It's like a Rubik's Cube, the quarterback position for the Niners. And there's so many angles and combos that this thing could go all determined on what happens, born from injury, play, subpar play. So I came in today driving home after I left you. De- you know, maybe they're right to Twitch the YouTubers. But here comes Peter King, a guy in the know, to basically say what we've been talking about, Jay. Like, and I got it. I don't want to tease the first segment. I, I got a major take for you and the listeners before we get out of here about Sunday's game in the shy. But what did you make of what he said? Yeah, it it, it didn't surprise me because I, I think there is an element, and, and we'll play the, the cut for you, but it, it's just the fact that if the 49ers really fully believed in Trey Lance, then they wouldn't have brought Jimmy Garoppolo back. And then the other part, to, to take the headline is just the simple fact that you know, he he's set the middle of the season week seven seven games as the opportunity for seven. if the 49ers were going to look to make a switch that would be that would be their allotment of patience let's say but i'll tell you this Let, let's just use a baseball analogy if you're telling me your prize rookie that you move mountain for mountains for is only getting seven games to me, that's the equivalent of a pitcher throwing 70 pitches. J.D., the politics involved in this before a move could be made, if it was subpar play, to me would be 12 games at minimum. Yeah, I, I mean, I... Seven I, I, games? I'm not putting a number on it because I think we all know Trey Lance is the starter. And we all know that Kyle Shanahan is going to show, at least we believe, some semblance of, of patience. In, in evaluating him and, and how this team does. And, and I think the win-loss mark is a huge part of it. I'm not putting a number on it, though, either way, because I think it could be seven games. I think it could, I think it could be two or three games, depending upon... Like, to me, that's all up to Trey. So I don't look at a seven-game mark from Peter King and think that that's crazy by by any stretch of the imagination. The, the onus is on Trey. The onus is on the 49ers. You know what, Jay? You and I are friends. On air, off the air, yeah. and I don't find I don't think I'm asking you a tough question. You may think differ, but I want to ask you now with everybody listening, how good is Trey Lance in your opinion? I think he's solid. I think he's What's okay. Solid I think mean? he's okay. Okay, okay, right. I think he's okay. I, I, I think the true answer is we don't know. Uh, but, but do you feel, do you get a feeling, Jay? Has anything changed when Jimmy came back? D- is this an indictment on what you believe, what Peter's trying to insinuate? that And what I think... I think it's, I think it's part of it, like for sure. Like, this ain't good. I think it's part of it, for sure. It, mm. It's, like we talked about, it's a hedge. It's a hedge. It, it's a hedge. It's, it's, and for need, the people that don't know what that is... You need to have a backup plan. <laughs> wow. You got your plan A, and then you need to have a... Capable wow. plan B if, wow. if plan A goes awry. And that's not solely just injury. That could be play. That could be level of play. So I, I, I think that's part of it. But I, I, I've i said it, and I kind of got crucified for it a little bit. Uh-oh. I mean, when I was out of training camp, 
Oh, no. Based on what I thought, I mean, I think I was maybe the first one you, to say You it. hit me with it. Not like, told Stiney like, on air. Compared to what I thought Trey Lance would look like at training camp, he didn't hit the marks that I thought. And I'm and I'm looking around and I'm wondering, well, am I am I crazy? Do I am I, am I not looking at the right things? And it's Allen Iverson because you're at practice, right? And they're they're all saying the right things. Kyle Shanahan sure as hell knows exponentially more about football and about his team than I do. So do I take him at, at his oh, word? Man. Of course, you're inclined. At least I'm inclined to do that. I'm inclined to take the 49er players at their word. You're going up against an elite defense, so I start. I'm seeing it. But then I'm also thinking to myself, you know, is what I'm seeing real? And to what level is it real? But it, it, I'm starting to think now maybe the 49ers and Kyle Shanahan were seeing in their own grading scale and wow. rubric that whatever he thought it would look like talking about Kyle Shanahan – he ain't it, seeing it. He ain't it. seeing it. That's interesting. And I'm, I'm on YouTube right now. The Otis Birds, the Drew Downs, Dante Wiley's. All these guys are mad at Peter King. You know, basically he's saying that was a joke of a report, but that's not how Peter has stayed in this business this long. And that's why I think it's just, for me, J.D., it's so refreshing. What Whatever you think, however you think this dynamic is going to play out, we finally get real football. And you know what happens when, when the 15 minutes start ticking in the first quarter in Chicago? His career, and I'm talking about him, Trey Lance's career starts. And to the naked eye or eyes, we're going to be able to watch and not have or depend on Peter King. We're not going to have to depend on said reporter. We're going to be able to, I'm going to be able to tape the game, watch it back, watch the games, and then I'll be able to be able to develop my opinion on what I'm seeing. Because right now it's like you would practice. And Jay, you said it so poetically when you said, Goo, you know, I ain't trying to, you know, say the kid's not good, but I get a feeling people are biting their tongue on what they're not seeing. Right. And then it came out a day later. Everybody, oh, the three are, and I said, man, that dude is bad. Talking about you, that you had seen it early. Yeah.